Hello friends! In today's video, we're going to be reacting to your unpopular opinions. So over on Instagram, I asked you guys for your unpopular opinions and I'm going to rate them and see if I agree with you or not. So <laughs> let's just get into it. Make sure if you aren't following me on Instagram, you go ahead and do that because I do these kind of things pretty often. So if you want to be in another video make sure you're following over there all right so the first unpopular opinion that we're going to be talking about is chick-fil-a service is annoying so in my opinion i can totally see where you're coming from but i'm gonna have to give this one like a five out of ten because sometimes it's really nice and it like puts me in a good mood and it like really helps my day be better but I also understand like when you're just like trying to get stuff done and you just hear my pleasure 50,000 times. I, I can get that. And fun fact, I actually worked at Chick-fil-A for like three months. So I kind of understand a little bit, maybe an insider perspective, but there's that one. Next we have iced coffee is gross. <laughs> um, Yeah, this one's like a straight up zero out of ten. I full heartedly disagree. Iced coffee is basically my blood type at this point. And if you're gonna disrespect iced coffee like that, I just don't know, like that, how can you not like iced coffee? Iced coffee is like way better than hot coffee on every planet, in every version of the world, in every dimension. <laughs> so yeah, I, zero out of ten, no, no. Next we have, servers need a minimum wage like other jobs and America needs to drop its tipping culture. This one is interesting, I have never heard of this opinion before. But now that I'm thinking about it, like I I could like totally see this working because I do feel like a lot of people don't tip well and then servers kind of get screwed over because they aren't making a lot of money. Like if you didn't know that, I didn't know that for a while. Like a lot of times like servers make like two to three dollars an hour because they're expected to be getting their tips. And so then like when you don't tip, like you're basically stealing their hours wage, you know, like you're they're not getting anything. So I, that is a bummer and it would kind of help them have like a more steady income but then also you have people who tip super well and can totally make someone's day and like totally help someone out so maybe it balances itself out so like I think this one I'm gonna have to give like a 7 out of 10 because I like pretty much agree but I also think like completely getting away with tipping is maybe not so cool because it is like a nice thing to do too next we have seafood is bad <sighs> okay so i understand where you're coming from first of all fish can smell really disgusting and it is an acquired taste and it is a different taste and all seafood is different though so that's why i'm gonna have to rate this like a three out of ten because here's the thing seafood can be delicious you just need to find the right kind like shrimp and salmon taste completely different so i feel like you can't just say like seafood is bad and then just like have that be your opinion like not all seafood is bad not all seafood is created equal so there's that <laughs> all right next we have very a very debated topic apparently i didn't know this was a thing but apparently it is scented trash bags smell worse than trash <laughs> This one's a straight up 0 out of 10. I'm so sorry, but I don't agree. I just don't agree with this opinion. <sighs> I love my scented trash bags. Like, you can get your Oasis Breeze and feel like I'm literally just replacing the trash in my house, but I feel like I'm on the beach. Or you can get that, like, nice calming lavender vanilla, and you're just like, hmm, like, I'm going to be okay. Like, I'm cleaning my house, and I want to jump off a cliff, but I'm going to be fine. I love my scented trash bags and I don't think they smell bad. Also, I think they do help with your trash not smelling so bad. Zero out of ten, I'm so sorry. Disagree. Next we have, I like daylight savings time. So, this one I haven't really heard a lot about until recently. Like, honestly, this year I just feel like everyone was like, I hate daylight savings time. And I don't hate it either, so I think this one's a ten out of ten. Like, I enjoy that we have more daylight. And the time change, like, messes with me a little bit, but not enough for it to be, like, this super big inconvenience. And when we have the one in the fall, I love the fall back one because you get an extra hour of sleep. And then in the spring, you just get an excuse to go to bed earlier. So, like, it's really a win-win, in my opinion, so this, that one's 10 out of 10. Next, the way they film The Office gives me a headache. 
I can totally see this because it's kind of filmed more like documentary style and not like it's never really like stable so I could totally understand that um I haven't watched a ton of The Office um but like I'll probably just rate this like 8 out of 10 because I can totally see where you're coming from I can I can sympathize all right next we have Harry Potter isn't that special he was just put in a different set of circumstances no um what well, I don't even know what this person is trying to say to be completely honest <laughs> what do you mean Harry Potter isn't special he's literally one of the <laughs> sorry spoiler alert I'm about to talk about like the ending of Harry Potter so if you haven't for some reason <laughs> read or watched it don't listen but He's literally one of the Horcruxes, so how is he not special? Like, he had to be the one to defeat Voldemort. Um, so I don't really get where you're coming from with that. Like, yeah, he had a different set of circumstances because his parents are the ones that were, like, going up against Voldemort. And then Voldemort was like, no, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to try to kill your kid. But obviously he's special because he couldn't kill Harry. Like, Voldemort couldn't kill Harry. Instead, he just became a Horcrux. So, like... How is he not special, like, in and of himself as a person, as a wizard? How is he not special? Because if he was just, like, some random, like, wizard, he would have died. So that one's zero out of, like, negative ten out of ten, to be completely honest. Like, the disrespect, I can't, I can't take it. Okay, the next one. We don't just have one person that we're meant to be with. So I'm assuming that you're talking about, like, soulmates. Like, you don't have, like, your one person that you're supposed to, like, be with for the rest of your life. And this one I'm going to say 10 out of 10. I used to feel differently and feel like you had, like, only your one person. But as I've, like, stepped back and kind of thought about that over the past few years, I realized that if you have that mentality that you only have one person, that can put so much pressure on a relationship. Like oh my gosh, like, am I, is this my one person? Like, my one chance at, like, finding true love and happiness is this one person. And, like, no one person can fulfill everything that you need in life. Like, you need to do that for you. So, I do agree with this because I do feel like you could end up with a lot of different people and be happy because ultimately your happiness comes down to you. And as long as you pick a partner that compliments you well, you're going to like you'll be able to succeed in a relationship i also think like if if that was true then like people would never get remarried people would never like even like their their husband or wife passes away and they get remarried or you know sometimes it just like you really grow apart which i mean can happen you know maybe like i don't think that you're just supposed to be with one person forever and it's only that one person um but that being said, like, you know, then some people are like, oh, so you're like, you're okay with James, but he's not like your like soulmate. James is totally my soulmate because we go together so well and I love him and I want to be with him. But I don't think like he's the only person that I could have been with and been happy or had a good life. It's just the choice I made to be with him has led my life this way and I'm happy with that. And we fit together really well and we complement each other. But no relationship is perfect. So if I was like with someone else, I would have a different life and that one could be good too. Does that make sense? 10 out of 10. Next we have psychiatric conditions produce real psychological, no physiological symptoms. I definitely agree 110%. Like I was just talking with someone the other day about like when you get really nervous and then you end up like going to the bathroom a lot because you're so nervous like that's happened to everyone and that's literally that right there like you are nervous you're anxious you're worried and so your body is like <sighs> like <sighs> like let's flush everything out like let's get out those toxins you know like i definitely agree and i've i struggle with anxiety and so with me i've definitely had like migraines headaches stomach pains upset stomach like close to vomiting because i'm so nervous and anxious and with depression, I've noticed, you know, tiredness, lethargy, and, like, muscle aches and pains. And I definitely think they can be connected. So, 10 out of 10, agree with that. Anyone who says otherwise, you can leave. Alright, so for our last one, we have leggings are not pants. What's the definition of pants? <laughs> I, I just don't think I agree with that. Definition of pants. Pants are, um, trousers are an outer garment covering the body from the waist to the ankles with a separate part for each leg. 
don't know about you, but that's what my leggings do. Zero out of ten. I'm sorry. My leggings are pants. Don't take away my joys, please. Please. Thank you. Okay, that is your opinions for today. You guys had some interesting opinions, and I was very... I very much enjoy talking about them and sharing them with you guys. If you guys have any unpopular opinions, let me know down in the comments. And if you're new and you've made it all the way through the video, please hit that subscribe button. It's free. It really helps out my channel as well as liking this video and commenting and sharing all the things. They really help me out. Thank you guys so much. We're so close to 300. Thank you guys. I love every single one of you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.